It's not a very pretty Morote Soyanagi, but it's still a Morote Soyanagi. It's still a good throw. Just still get him, get him on the back with control and force, and, and that's what it's going to look like. So What we're doing here, and I've got a lot of lapel going here, okay, and I, for, I just can't get this, or I miss it, or I purposely want to do this. What I'm going to do is when I do my rotate Sayanagi, I'm, I'm taller than him, so I'm going to have to show you, I'm going to have to curl up like this, and my elbow is not going to go under his arm, it's going to go above his arm, and I'm going to be curling over. So that's what we're going to be doing here. It's a, now a pretty Sayanagi, it does work. And if, again, if, you, if you're a Morote Soyanagi type, type athlete, this is a good plan B if, the, if you can't get under the elbow or the armpit. So we're going we're gonna to work on that, okay? So, so you want to take it from here? Let me sure. get that camera going here. Okay, so with, with most Morotes, you want to lighten up a little bit on the, the grip. You don't really want a high collar grip unless you like jacking your shoulder and your wrist and your elbow. So um, if you need to, you know, loosen them up a little bit and then catch about midway until you get more and more used to it and then you can go up a little higher, okay? Um, as soon as we have this, the, the idea here is to get up like that, okay? So again, we're gonna follow the, the lead of my knee and my hip. I'm not gonna try and like come up and hit him, all right? I wanna turn the hip first and then you pop your elbow out right through there, okay? Notice that my wrist is not bent. Okay, so I've got a nice little flat shelf right there. Okay, my wrist is not bent. I don't want it like that. All right, so from here, we can clamp down with your elbow. Okay, or even easier is as it comes through here, you just roll. That should be way better. Okay, so that's a little bit more uh, Coach Donnie style. And I, I find it, it works really well if you're worried about your wrist or your elbow, it just kind of tangles in there. And, and naturally pops through. And you can see how, as I turn, he's just kind of with you, okay? So we'll start with that one first. So again, I'm gonna clear this way, step through, pop. Down in my normal Seonagi stance, you can see him rolling into his lapel right here. Knees are, are pointed, you know, over halfway that way. And then we roll through. <sighs> So second way if that's not doing it for you is to pop it through and then clamp down on it. And that one's a little bit easier to kind of drag the guy into it. You've already pulled the sleeve out and then you're gonna lock it with your elbow and as far as lapel. And then you just kind of have to sag into your, your knee drop. Okay, so as I come through, and this is especially helpful if you only got a little piece of the, the tail of the gi here. Okay, as we come through, I'm going to clamp. So I've got my elbow on that. Let me just kind of snap it through on that. So as soon as it pops out, right now, okay? And a little bit looser, pull. start out this way and only roll it at the very end. So what you need to do is try and get some contact with your arm and them. I usually try and get my elbow on them and then it pops through pretty easy, okay? But you can get your, your hand or your fist right there and it still comes through easy. And the, the difference here is I'm not going like this, I'm going like that. So you're just trying to roll into that with that that nice uh, Donny Hinchcliffe uh, grip there, okay? So as soon as you get that, that 
contact, whether it's here or there, we just roll into it, okay? And if you're knee dropping, you can see how easy that is to just keep rolling through. If you have a fairly good knee drop where you're pointed the right way, you can see that he's just kind of draped across the back and the, the feet are, are off the ground. So, get some contact, right? And over he goes. Okay, and that way you know that you're not gonna be like jacking your elbow or your wrist or your shoulder. You pop it up, get some contact, and just roll under. Okay? 